What's up, YouTubes? I had a company reach out and ask if I was interested in testing their product and doing a review, and absolutely, that company is super clean. And they were super nice enough to send me some of their products. Now, I'm sure they didn't just randomly find me on the internet. Um, a lot of this has to do with some very influential YouTubers that may or may not have put them on to my channel, but I thank them for that. And thank you to Super Clean for taking a chance and sending me some products that I can test and let you guys know how their stuff works in the real world, in my tiny garage with my crazy projects that I got going on. You know, here's an average guy trying their product out and let's see how well it does for me. We've got the Super Cleaner spray then this looks like it's kind of the same thing but just um in an aerosol form this reminds me a lot of like maybe it's like an oven cleaner type deal and then wheel cleaner they must be watching my channel and knew that i definitely needed something like that but there's their products that's what we're going to be testing out pay no attention to the stuff in the background that's for the 80s and 90s show coming up they were also nice enough to send me a second box with the same products, t-shirt and a hat. And that is their donation to our Back to the 80s show. We're gonna raffle this stuff off at the show in March. So if you don't know about that show, BTT80s90s.com. If you're in the DFW area, it's a rad style charity show for cars, 1980 through 1999. All right, enough with my little shameless plug. So I'll probably spend the next week or two just finding random things that need to be cleaned, uh, degreased. I think that's what a lot of this product does is removes grease and stuff like that. So that's perfect for what I do. And uh, then I'll check back with you and let you know how it did. So I gotta go find some dirty stuff. We'll get to cleaning. These are the valve covers off my LS motor that I'm building for the DeLorean. If you follow it along, you've seen my 1981 DeLorean project I got going on. I'm putting a 5.3 LS motor in this car. And these things are just nasty. I've been putting this off for quite a while. I was going to put them in my parts washer, but my parts washer has like a degreaser in there and I mean, it works. It doesn't work well. So I'm, I'm really hopeful that this stuff is gonna be much better than what's in there. And if it is, then I will try to find like a gallon or two gallons or something of this stuff and just dump that in my parts washer. I'm gonna take off all these bolts on here and get this stuff ready to lay out. And I think I'm gonna try this version of it first. And I'm just gonna hose these things down and let's see how it does. All right, here's my greasy valve covers. This is gonna be the aerosol spray. I was reading on the back and it says, tools, driveways, outdoor furniture, marine, kitchens, bathrooms, stainless steel, fiberglass, concrete, and many other cleaning uses. And I guess you're not supposed to leave this on there for too, too long, so I'm gonna get the hose ready. Not really sure how long to leave it on there. I guess we'll find out. I guess I could do another round and try to get these small little areas here, but for the most part, I mean, look at that. It, it's all gone. All right. Good job, super clean. So far, so good. This is the ground strap off of the Mondial, and it's pretty nasty. And I'm trying to figure out a way to clean this up, and it just so happens I think I have the perfect product to do it. There it is, a little elbow grease and some super clean. Very nice.
This is one thing I've noticed when using this can. It like foams up here at the nozzle. It just, uh, it's just kind of annoying. I don't know if there's a way to really stop it from happening, but just know that when you're gonna spray this stuff, it's gonna do that. Finally actually washing one of the cars and I get to try this stuff I've been looking forward to actually using this product uh, my wheels are filthy on pretty much all the cars but I wasn't gonna go and just clean the wheels and not the car that would just be weird but now I have an excuse because I'm cleaning the wagon so let's put this stuff to the test they don't look horrible just because I rinsed them real quick but Supposedly, you spray this stuff on there and you let it sit for a little bit and then you come back and hose it off. So I'm going to start with this front wheel first. It says come back 30 seconds and you should be able to spray it off. So let's see what we got. I literally just sprayed it on, let it soak, rinsed it off. I didn't take a sponge to it or anything, I just kind of wanted to see what it was gonna do, and it works. I guess my only critique would be, like when you're spraying it, it it's almost like a stream and not really like a, kind of a, I don't know how to put this, like an open spray to cover more of a surface area. So, I don't know, you just, you really gotta keep spraying and use a lot of it to cover the surface really well. I thought there'd be like maybe an adjustment on the nozzle there wasn't. That's okay. It does what it says it's going to do, so I'll take it. Well, I know this stuff works really well on car parts. Let's see how it does on the grill. I think I'm going to pull all this stuff off and take it inside. I'll probably spray it down out here. Um, and then we'll try these pans as well. And you know what? Let's just spray the whole thing down and see what it does. This is probably going to be the toughest test that I put this stuff through. This grill has been gummed up for a little while now. So if it's gonna get my stamp of approval, this will be the test. Survey says we got a winner. Came out really well. Now I probably could have spent way more time actually scrubbing, but you know, that stuff did most of the work. All I had to do was really come back and just kind of wipe it down like you'd wipe down a counter. So that's a super clean. Um, they are not paying me to do this. I am still just the same nobody that I've always been. I haven't gone Hollywood. They were nice enough to reach out and ask if I wanted to try their product and do a review and, and tell you guys how well it works or if it didn't work. And luckily for them, it does work. I really like this stuff the best. This reminds me a lot of like oven cleaner, except you can actually breathe around this. You don't have to wear a respirator. So this stuff worked really well on the wheels and I will probably end up blowing through this pretty quick now that the weather here in Texas has gotten really nice because I can actually get out there and start detailing the cars more often. This one is pretty much the same as this, just in a, you know, a spray bottle instead of a foaming can aerosol. If you are at any of these fine establishments, take a look on the shelf. Regular like household cleaners and soaps and stuff are anywhere from that eight to $12 range. So they're kind of right in the middle where they need to be. This definitely won't fit in my garage, but how cool would that be to have 55 gallons of this stuff laying around? Definitely want to try this big, big jug right here, or even just a few of the gallon ones. If this stuff works this well in this form, this would be awesome if I could actually put a few gallons of this in my parts washer. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you, Super Clean. Stay hungry, stay foolish.